Hello everyone, my name is Eric and you're watching the Uncanny Stream. We are back with another early afternoon stream in Skyrim. So last time... Last time we had a very productive stream. We defeated both Harkon and Alduin. We completed both the Dawnguard quest and the main quest. So next, I'm going to turn my attention to the Civil War quest, as well as the rest of the Companions quest before moving on to the Dragonborn DLC. This dragon appears to be out of range. to Riften. Is there is a quest we can do here? And I had if you're, another run in with a thief's guild. If you're wondering where the Thieves Guild has my made trusted companion Serana is. She's actually in Morthal to see Falion, the wizard, in the hopes of curing her vampirism. So she's doing her own thing for now. Blessings of Mara upon you. But uh, she'll be Le back what soon. What is it enough. you seek, my child? Which of the divines do you serve? We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her the true nature of the gods. May I receive her blessings? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Just tell me what to do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. <coughs> you must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. How may I help you, my son? Uh -huh. So, we are going to talk to this Fastred and the village of Iverstead. And the reason I'm doing this quest is because it will reward me with a permanent buff to my character that gives me, I believe it's 15% magic resistance, which will stack with my 25% magic resistance from just being a Breton.
I wish I could make my deliveries more often. Here, dear. But the roads get dangerous. I help. I do the chores. What else would you have me do? I know your sights are set beyond this town, but for now, while you're under our roof, I need you to pitch in a little more. Yes, mother. That's are you the one sent by Mara? Yes, I am. What's troubling you? My parents are being impossible. Bastianus <coughs> wants to marry me. I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. You sound a little confused. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. Alright, just let's talk to her parents about this situation. You lost? daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Uh, actually, she asked me to speak to you. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels I for a little more Wouldn't stop talking here. about him. Now, I if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that what would be one thing. But she's a child. I know your sights are set beyond this it town, will pass. But for now, while you're under our roof, why do you want her to say so so badly? Look around here. Yes, mother. There's not much left. Used to be a good sized town. The folks have been moving to Rifton for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverston? You think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. Need some convincing. A little push, and this would all be simpler. You need to leave. Just get out of town as fast as you can. You need Nothing to leave. Nothing for anyone here. There's nothing for anyone here, and yet you want your daughter to stay? It's kind of a flip flopper, isn't it? Nope. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Actually, your daughter asked me to speak to you. Oh my. Probably <coughs> something about the men. We all wish we had her problems. I don't tell my husband. But I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastra to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. What would in inspire them to leave? Bassianus is still so terrified of Yothor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster it to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. All right. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. Well, it seems like I can also tell Klimek. That they are I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the roads get planning dangerous. On Which would certainly complicate things. But let's talk to Bassianus. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Frost. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Poti said to talk to you about Fastred. Oh, my love. How I long to take her away from all of this. Why did Boti send you to me? She said that you should elope. I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor? What about him? He'll come after us and it will be unpleasant. Bodhi said she'll handle Yothor. She would. If she's willing to deal with him, then everything would be all right. I'll... I'll go speak to Fastrid. Post haste. 